Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and uh, thanks so much for being here today. We're going to get started here with another one of these readings and uh, if you would like to book a personal private tarot reading with me, you can find all my information down below in that description box or up in the right hand corner. Today is the last day that I'll be offering my Spooktober bundles, so if you have uh, not checked those out yet, go over to my scheduling page uh, or website and check those out. They'll be at the top there. And um, yeah, looking forward to it. So happy Halloween to all of you and to your little ones if you have them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull a zodiac sign out of this cauldron to determine the next sign that I'm reading. Of course, you already know what sign that is since you clicked on the video. Let's see. Sagittarius, we, we already did you. Leah, we already did you. Scorpio. Scorpio, yes, we should do Scorpio. Happy birthday, Scorpio, and happy Halloween. I'm hearing someone has their birthday on Halloween, so that's an interesting birthday. You must be very tapped in to the occult. Likely you have some interesting uh, things happening in your life, I'm sure, if that's the case. But let's see what spell you're under, Scorpio. What spell is Scorpio under? I'm using the Practical Witches spell deck here. What spell is Scorpio under? Let's see. What spell is Scorpio under? A couple ones, one to count. Trying to just get one. Ooh, a money spell. Nice. Minting money. It says take a few sprigs of mint and put them in a teapot. Boil water for tea and pour over the mint in the teapot. Chant this charm. By my hand with this healthful balm, blessed mint, most bounteous herb, bring me health and heart and calm. Abundance I shall see by every deed and verb. And so it is. Breathe in the scented steam from the teapot and fill your lungs with the smell of prosperity. Repeat the spell once more, then leave the pot on your altar for 24 hours, a full sun and moon period. You will begin to see signs of your wealth increasing within one week. Ooh, I absolutely love money spells. So this is very nice for you, Scorpio. Definitely give it a try, maybe this week mm, with your new moon coming up. Yes, I definitely think that would be good for you. So let's see who is coming towards Scorpio. Who is coming towards Scorpio? It's another Scorpio, Eight of Cups. Why is this Scorpio coming towards Scorpio? It looks like they're walking away too. They could be, you could be meeting another Scorpio on a walk. That's what I'm getting. Um, why? Because the Queen of Wands, because you're very attractive, you're very outgoing, you're very charismatic. What do they want from you, Scorpio? What does this Scorpio want from you, Scorpio? They want adventure. They want playfulness. They want action. Um, this could have to do with sports as well. Could be a competition of some kind. Someone could play polo here. I'm seeing someone with a polo stick. Someone could ride a horse, quite literally. Or this could be like a... Maybe with cars or something. I don't know. All right, let's see. This could have to do with Halloween as well. Oh, someone could be out trick-or-treating here. And so what do you want out of this situation, Scorpio? You want the King of Cups. You want, uh, um, you want the Scorpio. Looks like a masculine energy. All right, and what, don't you dare fall. I'm talking about ring light. Don't you dare fall. What is their outcome in this situation with you, Scorpio? What is the Scorpio's outcome in this situation with you? The four of pentacles, well, not much. They're being kind of a, a Grinch. And it looks like a little miserly little fellow here. What is your outcome in this situation? 
and we have the Page of Pentacles while well, you're looking into it. You're interested, at least maybe physically, in this person. You could have some physical interest in this person, especially their body. This person is very attractive to you, but they don't open up much. Tell me about the Scorpio over here that's coming towards you, the Eight of Cups. We're going to go around again. Tell me about this Scorpio coming towards you. The Six of Swords. Yeah, they really are leaving. They're like, um, they're doing a drive-by, it looks like. Page of Cups. They're blowing you a kiss. They're saying, I'll call you. Like, they're rolling down the window and, you know, they, they just saw, I feel like, you know, it's like someone in your neighborhood or something or. Um, they just, they, they saw you, they're on their way, like they're driving, see someone driving down the street, the road or something. And so, or this could be just someone that you happen to be in the same place at the same time. Tell me about the queen of wands here. This is why they're coming towards you. I feel like you attracted this person into your life. Yes. You're very attractive to them. You turned them on. Okay. Tell me about the what, the nine of wands. This person has a nice car, or you do. I feel like it's like a red sports car. You have a little sports car, a little coupe or something. Um, cute little SUV. Uh, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, they want you to be your, their girlfriend or their wife. They want to wife you. Tell me about this King of Cups. This is what you want out of the situation. Tell me about this King of Cups. This is what you want out of the situation. We have the Queen of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. So this is a masculine that is um, uh, very uh, truthful. Uh, they're a very honest person. Um, they kind of just give it to you straight up, no chaser. And it could also be that um, this is someone that is widow, divorced, or single, or this is what you want from this person. You want this person to be, um, up for anything, really. If they are widow, divorced, and single, then you want them to be up for anything. You want to see what's going to happen next. What is the four of pentacles? That's their outcome. Tell me about the four of pentacles. This guy reminds me of Joffrey from Game of Thrones a little bit. Um, I feel like this person can be a little bit sadistic or immature at times. Tell me about this Four of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Um, this person is, is comfortable being alone. I can tell you that much. Um, they are an interesting, this is interesting. This person could be, this person could have Gemini placements as well. Tell me about the outcome here for you. Page of Pentacles. I'm getting something about MGTO, men going their own way. This person could be a Sigma uh, masculine as well. Um, they're kind of like a, no, I wanted to say lone wolf type, but I'm not quite getting that. Four of Cups, King of Wands. This is your outcome. I here we have the the match to the queen of wands if you're with a fire sign um I feel like you're not happy with this fire sign that you're with um I don't know why I, I just feel like they don't do it for you um they seem disinterested in you most of the time, or you, them. Um, let's see here. Anything else, Spirit? Is there anything else you want to tell us? I 
I believe this is the sun card. Nine of swords. Sorry, is that the wands? Ace of swords, page of swords. We have the Sun card. I believe this is the Nine of Wands and the, the Page of Swords. I'm seeing I'm seeing something about someone's sun here. Someone's someone has a sun. Okay. Someone has their someone has their guard up here. I feel like someone is watching someone. Someone could have an order of protection. This could be a mother and a child. This is a side message here. Um, there's a mother and a child here that have like an order of protection. Someone could be stalking the, the, this. I don't know what this says. Now, maybe this is, maybe Scorpio, this person here, you, this person could be stalking you. All right. I did say something about a drive-by. They just happened to be in your neighborhood. Um, okay. So if something is, something is, yeah, too much of a coincidence. So this could be like an X here. All right. I think you're still with someone. They may be trying to see if like you're, if you're available. Um, I don't think you're fully out of this relationship. I think you're in a relationship. They're single or they just, um, happen to bump into you kind of thing. But, um, I think someone has their guard up here. Okay. I don't know what's going on. I, I, I don't, um, there's some side messages there for someone. So if, if this resonates with you, great. If it doesn't, uh, leave the rest. And I want to thank you for stopping by. As always, sending you much love, much light. Happy Halloween, and until next time.